Heroes are usually boring. Oh, did I offend a big chunk of the Evo family? Well, let me remind you of something. Diverse people are the strength of this world. Just as your favorite heroes, few are die-hard fans of villains. But I'm not talking about Thanos or Loki. Well, can they even be called villains? It's all your take on it. I'm talking about a super villain who has an obsessive compulsion to incorporate riddles, puzzles, and death traps in his schemes to prove his intellectual superiority. Give a wild guess to that name, because a mysterious supervillain is in the house today. Call me... The Riddler. Welcome back to Evo Chronicles, where we showcase the evolution of movies, video games, and characters. And in this video, we're going to see the evolution of Riddler. When the topic is challengers for the Batman, the Riddler, Edward Nigma, always makes his presence in the first row. Have you ever come across a supervillain story that blended its character from comics to the big screens, and every time when he comes across our minds, he imprints his character? Well, if not, then pave your way and attain your focus for the story of Riddler. Batman 1960 TV series. The origin was always on the lighter side, where even at times the character goes unnoticed. The Riddler undoubtedly has the highest IQ of all Batman's foes. In fact, he is psychologically incapable of committing any crime without offering a clue as to how he can be caught. Unfortunately for the Riddler, he has met his match in Batman, who's always been able to decipher even his cleverest conundrums, resulting in his defeat. The Riddler was the most recurring villain in the first season, appearing in eight episodes. Batman 1966 TV series. To get noticed, either you need to get launched as a hero, or else be the one who challenges the hero. This wasn't just the only way by which Riddler made his way out from the group of villains to being one of the deadliest, cracked, darkest challengers. The Riddler, real name Edward Nigma, was a gleeful Gotham City criminal who was a persistent nemesis of Batman and Robin, committing crimes based on puzzles and questions. Gorshin, the man who was portrayed as Riddler, was the main villain of the very first episode of Batman, a move that allegedly stemmed from the fact that the Riddler was safer in appearance than more well-known villains such as the Joker or the Penguin. The Riddler committed a wide variety of crimes over his life, some aimed purely toward profit, and others toward destroying or unmasking his archenemy, Batman. Unlike arch-criminals such as the Joker or the Penguin, who only occasionally sent clues hinting at their future crimes, the Riddler would always send Gotham's law enforcement a riddle before embarking on a crime spree. Overall, Riddler was, and continues to be, widely lauded by audiences and critics alike as one of the greatest, if not THE greatest, of the villains to have been featured in the 1966 Batman series. Batman Forever, 1995. The character's origin story recounts Edward Nigma's fascination with puzzles from a young age. After a teacher announces that a contest will be held over who can solve a puzzle the fastest, Nigma sets his sights on winning this, craving the glory and satisfaction that will come with the victory. He soon finds himself longing for greater challenges and thrills, and dons the disguise of the Riddler to challenge Batman, believing him to be a worthy adversary. Edward Nigma, a eccentric researcher at Wayne Enterprises, approaches his employer, Bruce Wayne, Batman's civilian identity, with an invention that can beam television signals directly into a person's brain. Well, if that's possible, then I'm sure he might have some wicked plans in his mind. But our hero, which is of course the Batman, Bruce, rejected the proposal as he was concerned that the technology could manipulate minds. After killing his supervisor and staging it as a suicide, Nigma resigns and plots revenge against Bruce, sending him riddles. When you watch the movie, you'll get to know why he's been called a Riddler, because his riddles were that amazing, keeping up with the hype and suspense. Nigma adopts a criminal persona, the Riddler. He gets into an ally with Two-Face, the other villain who's trying to bring the Batman down. They commit a series of robberies to finance Nigma's new company and help mass-produce his brainwave device, the Box, which steals information from users' minds and transfers it to Nigma's, which makes him smarter in the process. 
The movie gets into such a profounding climax that Batman uses Riddler's weapon to divert him, which is the riddle itself, before destroying the Riddler's brainwave receiver with a batarang, draining the Riddler's mind. Riddler even exclaims that he's Batman. Oh, such an insane character he is. Gotham, 2014. The next appearance of Riddler was in a TV series, Gotham, which had telecast its first episode in 2014. In the series, Riddler is portrayed as a former forensic science technician working for the Gotham City Police Department with a penchant for speaking in riddles. He later went down a path of criminal activity. Ed's alter ego would force him to embrace his darkness after all the murders he had done. He was later captured and sent to Arkham Asylum. Six months into his sentence, he was released due to the intervention of Oswald Cobblepot. Edward took on the persona of the Riddler and terrorized Gotham until he was frozen in a block of ice by Victor Fries on Oswald's orders and suffered brain damage as a result. In the end, Edward was arrested and placed back in Arkham Asylum, where he would spend the next 10 years of his life being locked up. However, he was kidnapped and given bombs by Arkham guards for Edward to blow up the newly built Wayne Tower. The series and sequence of events make the character pretty much alive in people's hearts that, even if they try to forget who and how the character was, they drastically fail in it. The Batman 2022 the next appearance of Riddler was on the big screen in the movie The Batman, released in 2022. We've returned to Gotham yet again for an all-new iteration of Batman in which the Riddler is portrayed as an orphan who was part of the Wayne family's project for Gotham City's renewal, living at a Wayne-sponsored orphanage. Unfortunately, after the Wayne parents were killed, the orphanage and the renewal project quickly became corrupted by the city's criminal element, and Edward's life was turned into a living hell. In the movie, he's been named Edward Nashton, which is one of his on-again, off-again names in the comics. As Edward has grown up as an adult, he found himself a career as a forensic accountant. This special skill set, coupled with his childhood love and interest in riddles and puzzles, lead him down the path of eventually uncovering the truth of the city's renewal project and the corruption at the root of Gotham's problems. With this information in hand, Nashton did what anyone would do, become a costume serial killer with a puzzle gimmick, trying to get his point across in a way that couldn't be covered up by the corrupt officials he was trying to expose. He ends up in Arkham, where he meets his neighbor, a man mostly shrouded in shadow, who encourages Nashton to think of him as a friend. We don't actually get to see his face, but it's clear that this is the Joker, and that he and Riddler are at the start of a beautiful, horrific friendship. Wow. Well... Now this is certainly going to take a different route when we can ensure more amount of psychic plays will be seen in the upcoming movies. We can't finish this character's run without knowing its abilities and weaknesses. Abilities. Edward has a very high intellect and advanced mental faculties, claiming to understand topics preternaturally. Described by Barbara Keene as a whiz at strategy, Edward is also able to flawlessly execute the crimes he commits through careful and methodical planning, such as when he had Jim Gordon incarcerated for murder. The character has claimed that he's incapable of forgetting anything. Edward can calculate the likelihood of certain events. He also has the remarkable ability to view people and situations as puzzles to be solved. He's highly skilled at manipulating others, such as the inmates at Arkham. He was able to trick Kristen into thinking Doherty left Gotham by writing a letter with his name in it. He also managed to keep everyone at his workplace from noticing his change of behavior following his mental breakdown. Weaknesses Prolonged cryogenic sleep in a block of ice has caused him some level of intellectual damage, vastly reducing Edward's natural capability to create extremely complex riddles in a matter of seconds. Edward revealed that he spent hours coming up with terrible riddles. However, it's later revealed that the problem is not physical, but psychological. Ed slowly begins to gain his wits back, but later discovers that his split personality had received all of his high intellect, and would only regain it when his darker persona took back control. Edward has a split personality revealed after killing Tim Doherty, and giving the fake goodbye letter to Kristen. Nigma's darker personality looked just like him, 
only without glasses and with a cleaner hairstyle and behaving with aggression and ruthlessness. He would interact with his dark side, usually while looking at his own reflection. His dark side was also capable of overshadowing him, although it was only shown doing this after Edward's accidental killing of Kristen. After realizing he enjoyed the thrill of getting away with his crimes, it appeared as though both of his personalities merged. Well, I guess you're now pretty much aware of this character, but what's even more amazing is the character joining hands with the Joker. It would certainly be a treat to watch out for. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evo Chronicles and hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified by our regular updates. We'll be back soon to enlighten you with another character. Till then, stay connected.